F45 has taken over the world with its interval cardio and strength-based workouts. In just a span of 45 minutes, we're gonna be burning some fat, toning up, and building muscle. Here at F45 Causeway Bay, we've seen some amazing results from our clients and the community that come through our studio to transform their lives. And you might have ventured onto YouTube looking for a workout regimen that you can stick to, but not get bored of. And so here for the next 45 days, including today, we'll be doing a different workout together every single day for the next 45 days to finish off 2021 strong. Hey guys, this is Mason from Self Made Athletes and on this channel, I do health and nutrition tips, supplement and health product reviews, as well as workout videos just like this one. So if you're looking to level up your health, make sure to subscribe. Let's not waste any more time. Day one of our 45 day challenge is a workout called Foxtrot. We're going to be constantly changing the ratio between work and rest while we chase our heart rate using agility and cardio based exercises. This is gonna increase your aerobic fitness as well as your endurance. We've got 12 exercises in total where we're gonna perform each exercise four times. Set one and three are gonna be 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds of rest. And set two and four are gonna be only 20 seconds of work with 10 seconds of rest. There's no water breaks in between exercises, so make sure you keep your water bottle close by in case you need to take a sip between those short rest periods. In today's workout, you're only gonna be using dumbbells and your own body weight, so make sure that you have a couple at light, medium and heavy. I'm gonna be using a light pair of dumbbells at three kg. I've got a pair of medium dumbbells at eight kg, as well as one heavy dumbbell at 12.5 kg. Here are the exercises that we're gonna be performing today. Exercise number one, drop squats. Exercise number two, dumbbell punches, four straight and then four high. Exercise number three, bicycle kicks. Exercise number four, dumbbell shuffles six times and then four plyo lunges. Exercise number five, dumbbell goblet squat press. Exercise number six, dumbbell high knees. Exercise number seven, two inchworms, five double foot mountain climbers. Exercise number eight, one squat jump plus one burpee pyramid. Exercise number nine, dumbbell lateral raise. Exercise number 10, broad jump and shuffle back. Exercise number 11, explosive fast feet tempo. Last but not least, exercise number 12, dumbbell squat pulse. Now you know what to expect, you gotta at least look the part. I guess we're ready to go. Let's get right into it. All right, in about 10 seconds, we're gonna get started with our warm up. Starting things off with A steps. A steps, driving one knee up and add a little hop in between. Next up, mountain climbers. High plank position, shoulders over the wrist, drive your knees up nice and high, brace your core as you go. Come down, push up, T-spine rotate, open up the chest, 
Rotate the spine. Ooh, that feels good. Standing up nice and tall. Three squat pulses, one squat jump. Nice wide feet, rocking lunges. Keep your feet where they are, one hand to the opposite foot, and switch sides, hamstring stretch. Jumping jacks. Ice skaters. Last but not least, burpees. Chest to floor, cobra up. Woo, shake things off, we're getting ready. Very first exercise, we're doing drop squats. Just body weight for these ones here. Remember guys, we're doing four sets in total. First one is 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. Three, two, one, let's work. Dropping all the way down into your squats as you come up, feet together, and then jump out into regular stance and go down again. While you're squatting down, please do not lean forward where your chest is facing the floor. You wanna face it forward as high as possible dropping the bum down nice and low as you try to touch the floor, and go. And rest. Second set coming up. This is a short one, only 20 seconds of work. I'm gonna show some of you guys how to regress for those of you who have sore knees, tight hips, whatever it might be. Three, two, one, here we go. For those of you who wanna regress, follow me. Step out and touch, step in. Step out and touch, step in. Just like that. Everyone else, keep going at your own pace. and rest. Now, I usually flag one arm off to the side. Just gives me a little bit of balance. You don't have to do that. You can go outwards, you can go touch the floor with both hands like this, no problem. As long as we're not compromising form, just trying to touch the floor, okay? seconds and rest Woo. my thighs feel like jelly <sighs> oh, probably shouldn't have announced that all right guys we are back on in five four three two one here we go Next up, grab your light weight, 
dumbbells. We're gonna go for four punches in front and then four punches above. I'm gonna show you off to the side. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. For those of you who get this, keep going at your own pace. For those of you who need a little bit more help, when we're punching, relax the shoulders, punching out, retract, punching in. Four times. When we punch upwards, it's more of a 45 degree angle, not straight upwards. Okay, so 45 degrees up, and back to the middle. 45, middle, 45, and rest. We all good? We're all on the same page? All right, some of you guys might be like, hey Mace, why are your feet squared? That's not a boxing stance. No issues, okay? Go into your fighting stance, one foot in front of the other, and do what you need to do, boo. Here we go. And rest. There's a little bit more of a bopping motion um, I find in the in the fighter stance. That way you can protect the knees, protect the punches, and I'm not throwing it all the way out. Back into the long set here, you guys. I'm gonna match my feet for this one. For this one, as I match my feet, I just kind of brace my core as I throw my punches out. I think that was one too many. Whoops. Five seconds. And rest, excellent. Going back into the short round, I'm gonna switch up my fighter stance to unorthodox, I think that's, or southpaw, that's what they call it. Feel free to do whatever you feel comfortable with. Ready, here we go. We just gotta keep moving. Whatever, whatever rhythm or pattern you have found, in these punches, keep that up. And rest. Well done, guys. We are moving on. Next up, we're doing bicycle kicks. I don't have a yoga mat set up, but if you do, perfect. We're lying down. Here we go. Opposite elbow to opposite knee, crunching away. Feeling strong, feel free to pick up the pace. No dramas. And rest. Woo. All right, one thing that I wanna kind of point out and I caught myself doing it earlier, and I want you to try to get your shoulders off the ground a little bit. That way you can really brace the core and crunch as you do your bicycle kicks. Here we go, 20 seconds. And rest. Long set coming up, guys. Here we go, 45 seconds.
about 10 seconds, hanging in there. And rest. Woo. Who else is feeling it? Oh man. Back on the clock, three, two, one. Here we go. And rest. Woo! Next station. Next up, we're gonna do dumbbell uh, shuffles with plyo lunges. Here we go. Holding one medium dumbbell. Six and four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four. Now I just wanna explain the plyo lunge. You guys keep going at those of you who are watching this. Your shuffles, feet are nice and close on the balls of your feet, yeah? Six times. When you go into plyo lunge, plyo means off the ground. So you're gonna have to jump. Extending one leg back, drop the back knee, okay? Jump and drop. Jump and drop. And rest. Now, as we're doing that, try not to let the back knee hit the floor and concentrate on your front knee, not crossing your toes. Okay, here we go, second set. Three, two, one, and rest. Whew, all right. For those of you who want a regression, no problem, I've got you. Here we go, third set. Regression for those of you who have sore knees. You can do your shuffles. Yeah, low impact, four, five, six. Step back, drop the back knee. The center of gravity for your body goes straight down. Don't lean back, don't lean forward. Step forward, opposite foot back, drop the back knee. And there you go. Stepping back into a reverse lunge rather than plyo. Everyone else, let's get it. And rest. Woo. Grab those weights, we're back on the clock. Here we go. And rest. All right, we are moving on. Next exercise. We're gonna do a dumbbell goblet squat with the press. Go ahead and grab your heaviest weight. Let's work. All right. For this one here, guys, you're gonna hold your weight or your dumbbell in a goblet Y position like this at the chest. Squat all the way down. As you come up, press the dumbbell over your head. And of course, you're gonna have to use some arm strength in this. But actually, if you use your legs while you're driving up, use the momentum to push the weight upwards, it'll save your arms a lot of work. And rest. Whew. Well done. Now, I know what you might be asking. Yo, Mace, I don't have fixed dumbbells. I've got the adjustable ones at home. The bars are way too long. It's hitting me in the face. No problem, I've got you. Here we go. Turn your dumbbell to the side like this, my friend. 
goblet squat and press. There you go, lots of room between the top of your head and the weight. Similarly, if you guys don't have weights or dumbbells at home and you're using like maybe a bag or something like that, just hold on to the sides instead of holding to the top of it. Okay. All right, third set, here we go. All right guys, one more thing that I wanna point out is as you go down into your squat, just like before, we're not leaning forward. So the center of gravity is going directly downwards. We're sitting on our heels. More importantly is the knees. As you come down, don't let them cave in on you like this. Keep them straight or push them out as far as you can. And rest. We don't want bad form. We don't want those knees coming in towards each other. Push those suckers out. All right. We're back on in five seconds. Woo, wipe off that sweat. Drink some water if you need it. We're back on the clock. Here we go. And rest, excellent. All right, next exercise. Grab your light pair of dumbbells. We're doing dumbbell high knees. Here we go. Running in place. Your dumbbells are in a 90 degree angle with your elbow and forearm, okay? And you're gonna drive those knees and thighs up towards that dumbbell. Oh, the joys of running. If you thought running in place was hard, Running in place with dumbbells are even harder. Woo! Ten seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Woo! What's the heart rate at? 97%. Are you seeing this, guys? 182. We are not playing around. All right, we're, we're here, we're working. Let's go. Now, for this one, for those of you like, yo, my arms are too tired, no problem. Hands in the same position, drive those knees up. No weights for this one. And rest. See, this thing, this program is not about Who's better than who? How much heavier can I do? Here we go, 45 seconds. It's more about what can I do better every single time without giving up. All right, so weights are too heavy. Drop the weight, keep going. At least you're still moving. Now, for my friends, once again, who have bad knees or shin splints, tight calves, whatever it might be, you can't run, you can't keep your heart rate up. March as fast as you can. I want you to drive those knees up. We're moving. That's all that matters. Here we go, rest. Woo. Five more seconds, one more set here, guys. Then we move on. Three, two, one, here we go. I'm gonna do it with no weights. I'll set my markers. And if that's too loud for your neighbors, to just jog in place like this. You can swing your arms, if that helps. Just keep going. Rest. Whew. All right. Next up, we're gonna do two inch worms and five double foot mountain climbers. Here we go, I'm gonna face this way so you guys can see. 
inchworming, you're gonna walk your hands out away from your feet. You're actually gonna walk it past your shoulders and as far away from yourself as possible. You're gonna come back, walk your hands all the way to the feet and stand up. Repeat for a second time. Now, I'm cautious. For those of you who might have a weaker core, only go as far as you can come back. I do not want you to fall down here, okay? You're gonna retract into a high plank position and you're gonna drive both knees by pushing off your toes towards your hips. Stop halfway. Do not go past because you will disengage your core. We wanna go halfway, keep the core tight, keep it braced, rest, okay? For those of you who knew how to do this, you guys got this. You didn't need me to explain it for the 45 seconds, but some of us need it, right? All right, so all together now, everyone. We're walking out, reaching, coming back. High plank and tuck. Halfway to the hips, keep the hips low. Do not jump like this, guys. Okay, keep the hips, the knees low. After five, finish your inchworm and repeat. Oh man, I missed my break. Ain't nobody told me. <laughs> I'm just playing. I should have been the one to tell you guys. I'm sorry. We missed our 10 second break. Well underway for the third set here, guys. Less than 20 seconds to go. <sighs> 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. There we go. Thank God, Mace, I need a break. All right. Deep, deep breaths. Three, two, one, we're back on the clock. Five seconds left. And rest. We are moving on, next station. Next up, we are doing one squat jump plus a burpee pyramid. Here we go. Squat jump, one burpee. Chest to floor, cobra up, jump, squat jump. Burpee pyramid, two burpees. Here we go. Squat jump, three burpees. Uh. Four burpees. Finish on whatever you're doing. And rest. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, you can either reset your burpee count or continue where you were earlier. Okay? Here we go. I was at four burpees. I'm gonna continue. Now, there comes a point in time, oops, there comes a point in time where you probably want to reset that count or else you're just gonna be doing burpees for the whole working set, okay? I'm gonna reset right now, back to one and one, then one and two, so on and so forth. Here we go. Um, I'm gonna face this way. For those of you who are feeling strong, actually, I'm gonna feel face this way. For those of you who are feeling strong, we're not gonna Cobra, we're gonna do push-ups at the bottom. I 
five seconds. And rest. One more short set to go. Three, two, one. Let's work. Woo, who's with me? Push-ups rather than cobras. Three, two, one, and rest. Excellent. All right, guys. Next up, we are doing dumbbell lateral raise. Depending on your strength, grab your light or medium dumbbells and we're raising off to the side. Now, if you're going a little heavier, you can have a slight bend in the elbows to help you. So it'll look something like this, where the dumbbells are slightly in front of your body. For everyone else, if it's not too bad, not too challenging, I wanna hit the mid part of the shoulders. And the best way to do that is doing lateral raises exactly off to the side. So your arms are in a T position. Three, oh, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. You should, you should feel it from the front to the middle of the shoulders. If you have a slight bend in the elbows like this and you're raising towards the front, it'll be more on the front of the delt. All right, grab those dumbbells, short set, here we go. If you've got a mirror at home, check yourself out. Just look off to the side. If your arms are covering each other in the mirror and you only see one straight line, you're doing it perfectly. Now that doesn't mean to say if this is wrong, it's just you get to use a little bit of leverage from the rest of your arm, that's all. All right, three, two, one. We are back on the clock. Now, sometimes I see people going like all the way up here. Mm -mm, we don't need that. Just about shoulder height, that'll do. You'll feel the tension in the shoulder, no problem, by just going to shoulder height. Shoulders are on fire, my friends. Keep going if you can. All right, two, and rest. Woo. I'm gonna have to admit, my shoulders are one of my weakest muscle groups. Had a previous injury and uh, yeah, I've been neglecting it a little bit. Here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. Next exercise. We are blowing by this, friends. All right. Next up, we are doing a broad jump and a shuffle back. Here we go. Find some space. Use your yoga mats if you don't have enough. Jumping forward, shuffling backwards. If one long jump like this is too uh, harsh on your body, your knees, take two small forward jumps. One, two, shuffle back. There's always a regression or an alternative for those of you who can't do some specific movements. No worries. For the rest of us, we're broad jumping, landing softly, being kind to our knees. Three, two, one, rest. All right, we are back on the clock. Let's get it. Three, 
two, one, and rest. All right, uh, the next one, I'm gonna jump towards you guys, and I wanna point out some things that I've seen with some of my other clients, okay? Here we go. So, you guys keep going, I'm gonna keep talking. For some of us, we might have really weak knees, and as we jump, we cave our knees before we jump, and then when we land, we land with our knees inwards. What I want us to try to do is before we jump, turn the heels inwards, dig your knees, uh, sorry, dig your feet in, turn your knees out, jump, and keep those knees pointed outwards at all times. That'll give us good form so that our knees, it prevents our knees from caving in on us, okay? If you're going for the shorter jumps, we got one, two, yeah? And rest. That was the, the biggest message for this exercise. I know that it can be tough, and so I want you to just slow things down, practice turning your knees outwards. All right, here we go. And rest. Woo. Guys, we are almost there. We've got two exercises left. One is gonna be explosive fast feet with tempo. Here we go. Fast feet, as fast as you can, and then tempo it out, mellow, shuffling from side to side, and fast, and slow. You don't have to go as slow as me. You can go medium, you know, you can just go like this if you want, whatever it is but we want to be explosive for some of them. This is working on your agility and your ability to switch from slow to fast whenever you want your feet to go. Okay, you can go a little longer, no issues, and rest. For those of you who might be in an apartment, you're like, yo, Mace, I can't, you know, slam the feet so hard. No worries. You can still do it, but just, you gotta be gentle. All right, here we go. Yeah, as gentle as you can, or you can fold your yoga mat a few times over. That'll absorb some of the, the stamp, the stomping. and rest. Whew. Two more sets here. Long one coming up. I'm gonna try to drag out the long ones to see if I can just endure it. Here we go. Once again, you do not need to follow my pace. You can if you want. Oh, the calves are feeling it. If any of you guys have seen the size of my calves, you'll know that they're quite big. And so for me to feel it in an exercise takes a lot of power. All right, shake that off. Woo, flexing, you gotta stretch that out. You do not, trust me from my experience, you do not want your calves just crunching up on you. It sucks. Here we go, drink enough water guys. Have enough electrolytes in you. And rest, all right. We are moving on to the very last exercise. We are gonna go into a dumbbell pulse squat. Go ahead and grab your light dumbbells, medium dumbbells, whatever you fancy. Coming down into 90 degrees and we're gonna pulse above and below that 90 degree mark. Ah. 
I don't know about you, but my legs are on fire. Tune it out, keep going. Close your eyes if you need to, think of something else. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Oh, shake that off. Woo. I am feeling the burn. Now, if two weights is too much, maybe just grab one weight. Maybe substitute that for one medium one. Here we go. Oh no, that's heavier. This was a mistake. And rest, okay. No weights on this last, on this third one. Woo. Here we go. Feet, shoulder width apart, okay. Sitting down as straight as possible, chest up, bum down onto the heels and pulsing. You can have your hands out. Some people like to do this for balance. Up to you. Ooh, shake that off. Jumping right back into it. Five, three, one and rest. Oh my goodness. Woo! Feeling a bit of a pump on that one. All right. Very last working set. I am so proud of everyone who's joined me so far. Here we go. Last one. Let's finish strong. Pulsing. Stay low, stay low. Three, two, one. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, that was day one. Foxtrot is in the books. See you later. One out of 45. I'm super proud of everyone who just decided, you know what, let's do this. We're doing it together. I'm on the clock with you guys. If you noticed, I wasn't wearing my headband earlier during my intro, I am now. If anyone knows a better way to hook up a wireless mic, please let me know. This is the best way I can possibly capture audio while I'm working out. Here at F45, globally, we use the Lionheart monitor and we track some of our stats. The points up there mean absolutely nothing. I'm actually using the Whoop wristband to track my workouts. So, I don't know if you guys can see that. Completely different point system. I got 12.1 on this one, but check out that that heart rate and oh, can you guys see the average heart rate was 176 and we burned nearly 450 calories, 438 to be exact, based off of the Whooper span. 400 calories for just staying in one spot. I'm pretty happy with that. We've got 44 days left to go, guys. If you guys need any help or advice, feel free to leave a comment in the section below or swing by the studio. Once again, I'm based in the F45 Causeway Bay in Hong Kong, but we've got tons and thousands of studios worldwide. Feel free to swing by any one of those. Talk to some of the trainers. They'll set you up right. I'll see you on the next one. This is your boy, Mace. Peace.